racing. World Soprano, late December, and Arctic Wizard all missed the kick by about a length. Mad scramble in the early stages. First one to go is Mind Map. Mystic Majesty at the outside gets right in there in the early stages. Then two lengths away to Please Be True. He's ended up in a good spot at the head of the others in third and about three to four lengths off this leader. King's Quest was next best. To your Port Louis locks in fifth place and is about six, seven lengths from the front. Then came Arctic Wizard racing at his outside. Further back to Riverhawk. That's in the blue sleeves and the yellow cap 006. And late December are the next two with World Soprano racing at the rear. And they're about to spin for home they went past the 600 and mind map is in front by a couple of lengths mystic majesty got into second then comes please be true who turns into the home straight in third place then at that one's inside the red cap of city of port louis then came king's quest and the check sleeves and the red cap just being niggled at to get a bit closer arctic wizard was further back in late december with 300 meters left to go mystic majesty up towards the inside mind map and please be true is wearing them down further back to empire state in the purple king's quest was next 150 up Please be true is green but is in front. 100 meters left to go. He shot away by a length and a half. Empire State King's Quest best work late, but they didn't get to please be true. Please be true, the winner. Second goes to Empire State. Then came King's Quest. Mystic Majesty was further back with Mind Map. So please be true takes out race number one on today's card. It's another one world. We're running out of time for one world to break every record, but another one's going to do him a world of good here. I think it's now three individual winners away from breaking Captain L's record and three overall winners to breaking the overall number of wins in a season. And this is just his freshman year. Please be true is the winner. Justin Snaith, Gavin, the Rena team up, owned and bred by the Drakenstein stud. This in partnership with Ravi Nadu's Kalinga operation and Pamela Isdell. Second goes the way of a very smart debut for number three, Empire State. He stayed on well as the disabled companion number eight, King's Quest. They ran second and third. And fourth will just go to mind map over Mystic Majesty. They were ahead of City of Port Louis. Then came 006, World Soprano, Arctic Wizard. Out after those was River Hawk, late December. So please be true, Gavin Lorena makes the trip already worthwhile. And there might be a few more to come, please be true. Ended up in the right position. There was a lot of pace on his outside, and those front two obviously set the pace, and he was at the head of the others in third turning for home. He's still very green, still a bit wayward, still got lots to learn, but there's a lot to like about him. Here's the head on, he's in the familiar Drakenstein stud, colours the blue with the white square. Once he took the lead, he started to look around here at Hollywood Best Dermaville. There he is, Gavin Lorena, just trying to keep him as straight as possible. Once he sort of got him straight and up, sort of to look around and lug inwards and lug outwards. But there's definitely a lot to come from Please Be True, and he's off the mark at the second attempt. Barpot starts in race number two.